if you told me years ago that they were uh, the United States judiciary system would try to legalize pedophilia, like I want to say like three years ago, I laugh in your face. The fact that we're here now, this is hell on earth, man. There's no other way around it. If you don't have religion in your life, you got to get something, man, because we are in hell. Um, I'm looking for that massive reset. Seriously, we need it. We've gone too far. We sh we're, I thought we would be a little bit more mor moralistically positive and uh, upright, but we are going backwards. Satan has a hold, man, and I'm not religious, but if you... You don't have to be religious to see where the fuck we're going right now. If you told me years ago that they were, uh, the United States judiciary system would try to legalize pedophilia, like, I want to say like three years ago, I'd laugh in your face. Shalom. Kohlein la Yehawah. Bahashem Yehawah Shai. Bahashem Urkon Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yehawah. In the name of his son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. The wicked are in rulership. So I really didn't come up with a title. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, a lot of us have been teaching every day and prophesying and warning about the judgments that are coming soon. And this man says he's not religious. Well, you should at least be inquiring of the Lord seeking his face, which is this wisdom. So these Edomites got to go. Right now they're publicly stating what their intentions are. And this has been the end state the entire time. They're telling you publicly they're legalizing this thing. Where are the Israelites speaking out against them, the wicked? And many people are just sitting back saying, hey, look, I think I'm a nice guy. I might not be involved in the ministry or crying aloud against these crimes, so I'm going to be okay. Negative. That's not true. The way the Bible works, the way the Most High operates, if you are a witness to these atrocities, these crimes, then you are guilty as charged. Guilty. We got Israelite groups speaking out and trying to condemn the men of the Lord that are speaking out against these crimes. But yet, they turn a blind eye to the elites that are doing it. And when you read the T-A-L-M-U-D, it promotes this type of behavior. You, <laughs> you got to go look that up on your own. So what other man you know on earth can publicly state what he's doing and not be ostracized or removed from power? What happened to those that are on the Jeff Epstein list? What happened to the list of the Jeff, Jeff Epstein Island visitors. I mean, what's going on? We told you who the wicked is, the Edomites. We told you that the earth is given unto them. But judgment is near, and everybody can feel that something is in the air. Something big is coming. Let's go here to Proverbs 11. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11. Let's go to verse 3. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of the transgressors 
shall destroy them. Well, this man Esau Edom is perverse. He puts it in his books. Now he's bringing forth legislation to support his sick mindset. Here it is. The Bible says they are the wicked and that they do not get salvation. But we got Israelites arguing against the Bible and against the men of the Lord. Let's look at that word perverse. This is the only man I know that can publicly state he's committing a crime and not be held accountable. Perverse. Person or their actions showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable, often in spite of the consequences. Awkward, contrary, difficult, obstructive, annoying, vexatious, disobedient. So the wicked are in rulership, but their judgment is near. Let's go here. I'm going to go to NIV. And let's go to Hebrews 12 <coughs> and 16. The book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. See that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like Esau, who for one morsel, <coughs> let's read it again, Hebrews 12 and 16. See that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance rights as the oldest son. Afterward, as you know, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected. Even though he sought the blessing with tears, he could not change what he had done. So that's the NIV. So this man is immoral, ungodly, unfit to rule. Many of the Epstein Island visitors are political leaders, actors, celebrities, and high-ranking military officers. So the entire system is corrupt. Let's go to Psalms. 53, the book of Psalms, chapter 53. Let's go to verse 2. Let's go to 1. Psalms 53, verse 1. To the chief musician upon Mahalath Mashkil, a psalm of David, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. Let's look up that word corrupt. <clears throat> this, man, this man is unfit to rule, but was used as a whipping stick against the Israelites for going off. Corrupt. Strong's H, 7843, Shachath, Shachath. Spoiler, waste, cast away. So he is that man of sin, the son of perdition. And that meaning is twofold. He's a destructive man, and he was created to be destroyed. 
Go to Romans. One moment. Romans 9. See, Romans 9, verse 21. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another vessel unto dishonor? So the Edomites were created to be a vessel made to be used as a whipping stick and then discarded, destroyed. But the Israelites, the sons and daughters of Jacob, are a vessel created to be preserved. A fine art masterpiece. Let's go to verse 22. What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? So the Edomite man and woman are tailor-made to be destroyed. That's why the earth is upside down. Children going missing. About 750,000 a year. That's just in America. Worldwide, that number is multiplied by about 10. See? See? Verse 23, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. So the Israelites is a fine art masterpiece that have been made with great care, precision. <clears throat> so these people can pretty much tell you what they're going to do, even if it's abominable and they're not held accountable. How many Rothschilds have been on the news due to corruption? See? Breaking the laws. Or let me guess, they do everything perfectly. Why, do we, why don't we ever hear the 13 Illuminati families in the news? Because they own the news. You don't never hear about their drunkenness, sexual deviancy, child molestation, burglary, arrests, nothing. So let me guess, all their children are perfect too. Come on now. Drug addiction, drug abuse. None of the 13 Illuminati families are ever scrutinized publicly. Go to Psalms 35. Let's go to verse 4. Psalms 35. Let's go to verse 3. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. So Yahawashai is going to have to intercede. Because he's looking down on earth and seeing there is no intercessor, no judgments going forth. None of the elite are being arrested, investigated, detained, embarrassed, or publicly shamed. So they're going to pass away as the chaff. That's the old man, the old rich man, and the rich man, poor man narrative. So the old world is going to pass away with a great noise. Nuclear destruction. Let's go here. Psalms 35, verse 5. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. 
let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. So they have been set in a slippery place. They are set up to fall, set up in a slippery place. So when you're on a slippery slope, there's nowhere to go but down. See, let's go to Psalm 73, verse 18. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. So when you're on the top of the hill, the king of the hill, there's nowhere else to go but down. 360 degrees all around is a fall. Read that again. Psalm 73, verse 18. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors as a dream when one awaketh so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Their image is the image of the beast, Rome. Let's go down to verse 5. Psalm 73. Let's go to verse 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. So these international bankers can have their way with our kids, can have their way with our health care. The Food and Drug Administration in bed together. One agency makes us sick, and the other creates a synthetic man-made solution that's really not a solution at all but makes us have more symptoms. So these people can literally get away with murder worldwide. And no judgment goes forth. For I was envious, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They have United Nations bases all over the earth. They own health care. They own the international banks. They own the militaries. They created the civil rights movement as a vehicle in which all of the other ABCDEFG groups could jump on the bandwagon. See? So that was just a vehicle used to start different movements. Hence, now, the you got minor attracted persons segments now. It's called the minor attracted persons. And they're using the studies and research from Alfred Kinsey to help substantiate child pedophilia being legalized. Where are the Israelites speaking out against the wicked, other than attacking the men of the Lord, standing boldly and telling this man he's going down. So they are in a slippery slope. Well, there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, Pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Everything this man push promotes death, sickness, abominations, child fantasies, or fantasies against children. This man is a walking abomination. That man of sin, the son of perdition. Where are our women speaking out against this devil? Where are the men teaching and preaching? 
but you want to come against the Israelites. <coughs> Let's go back to this. And what is that? They speak wickedly concerning oppression. Psalm 73, verse 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. So they use the law to justify their wicked acts and their deeds of iniquity. And then they ridicule or mock and scoff when the Israelites complain and say, let bygones be bygones. Get over being enslaved, being made first fired, last hired. Get over the housing discrimination, property redlining. Get over the massive lynchings in the South. Get over the nationwide lynchings. Forget about the red summer of 1919 or 1918, somewhere in there. I believe it was the red summer of 1919, where massive massacres occurred against the Israelites nationwide. Forget about the Jim Crow laws, the black codes, when we thought we were free, only to turn around and get arrested and incarcerated for loitering or trespassing. Forget about thinking we're free only to work on the plantations as so-called indentured servants, working for pennies. So the list goes on. Let's go back to verse 18. Psalms 73. The book of Psalms, chapter 73, verse 18. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou castest them down into destruction. This man is going to fall with violence, nuclear destruction. Let's go here. See, Deuteronomy 32, verse 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense, their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. So this wicked and adulterous generation is on a slippery slope and falling fast. Let's go here. Deuteronomy 32, verse 32. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. They push and promote a poisonous educational structure. They promote a poisonous religious instructions. They promote poisonous governmental policies that are all an abomination, legalizing the ABC agenda, which led to child pedophilia. So they use these stepping stones of these other man-made movements all outside of the Bible. The civil rights movement was a springboard to usher in other movements. The small hats funded civil rights. The same people that funded the Ku Klux Klan. Go to Deuteronomy 32, verse 5. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are perverse and crooked generation. This started with the Israelites going off. So we die in Adam. We all die in Adam. This is why we needed Adam to come back as Yahawashai and become a blood sacrifice to put things back into balance. So the foundation of Israel is built on 
the stone of Yahawashai. So now this applies to the crooked and perverse wicked. Job 9 and 24, the Edomites. Deuteronomy 32, verse 4. Let's go back to 5. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and cro crooked generation. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 1. Edomites cannot be made straight. They cannot be re rehabilitated. Let's go here. Ecclesiastes 1, verse 15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. So they were made to be the wicked. Let's go to Proverbs 14 and 2. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 2. He that walketh in his uprightness feareth the Lord, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. So wanting a child's backside is perverse. Wanting a little boy's backside is perverse. But now they're pushing to legalize this. So how is it we're teaching from the Bible, our videos get taken down. But the wicked can pretty much push all types of abominations and then use the law to justify it. Where are the men at speaking out against this? Let's look up that word perverse. So the Israelites elect are the upright that love and fear Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Perverse comes from the Hebrew Strong's H 3868. Lose. Lose. To depart, to turn aside, to go wrong, to go crooked, devious, perverse, to be lost. So they are they're referred to as the crooked serpent, the proverbial snake in the grass, Edomites. So they were made to be perverse. See, let's go to Proverbs 16 and 4. They are fitted to destruction pursuant to Romans chapter 9. We read it. Proverbs 16, verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So it goes on to expound on who they are. So they were made to be a whipping stick and made to be used as an example of how not to live. So the great and terrible day of the Lord says, prepare slaughter for their children for the iniquity of their fathers. So they are a vessel of dishonor, tailor-made or fitted to destruction, the way Romans describes them. Proverbs 16 and 5, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord, though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So this connects to Obadiah, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. See? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, the Romans, the Greeks, the modern-day Americans, the Edomites, that are in rulership. Let's get one more. Let's 
go to Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? So all of these things they're doing behind the scenes are coming to the forefront, coming to the forefront, being exposed, being made bare. Just like the so-called civil rights movement that was used as an agenda by the elites to create a social divide through tensions and what it did was it created a sense of dependency. So-called black communities were together prior to the 1960s civil rights movement. But they use it as a vehicle to promote feminism, women's liberation, which virtually destroyed the so-called black Native American Latino families where the women begin to leave the household family unit and the traditional role of a wife. This serpent is very crafty, very cunning. He used words like women's liberation, women's empowerment. So everything is upside down, even the traditional family units a destroyed family. So their council has light shine on it now. What they're doing to destroy the Israelites, 79% of the abortion clinics are primarily concentrated in the so-called Negro communities, followed by Native American and Latino. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing frame Say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. So the Most High is the creator and maker of all things, all knowing, all present, all powerful. The fact that we're speaking about these things shows and tells you that the Most High has not forgotten about the crimes of the Edomites. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. That's in Psalms 137. How do we know that he's remembering them? We keep bringing up alligator bait, feeding our babies to alligators, selling a boy to be a harlot, a sex toy. That's in Joel chapter 3. Trading our women on the market for wine. Buck breaking. Taking the strongest dominant alpha male figure and sodomizing him before the rest of the slaves. So remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. So we know he's remembering them because his mouthpiece is consuming the wicked. He has made our tongue like a sharp sword and our mouth like a breath of fire inflaming the wicked, but breathing breath of life to the remnant of the hopeful elect. So things are going to be turned right side up. The Bible says saviors shall judge the mount of Esau. Oh, here. One of my favorites. Obadiah 1, verse 21. 
and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So it's going to take spiritual intervention, an intercessor to bring this man down. He's legalizing all of his wicked, sick fantasies. Let's create one more. So we need a savior. Let's get one more. I'm going to go to Isaiah 59. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 15. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. That's why they're demonizing the men of the Lord and calling us everything but a child of God. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Everything but the sons of the Most High. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Show me the international elites being judged, imprisoned, put on the death penalty or death roll. Receiving the death penalty. Show me their public drunkenness. Driving while drunk. Show me them being arrested for child sex trafficking. See? How do they get their adrenochrome? Look that up. Adrenochrome. Created or made from red stuff out of frightened children. Isaiah 59, verse 16. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness, it sustained him. So Yahweh Shai is going to spearhead the battle acts of the Lord, the mighty men of the tabernacle of David. And this place is going to be destroyed by fire. The Bible says that the mighty men are going to be able to run through the fire and take the other nations. But that judgment starts with the daughter of Babylon. And none of the wicked shall go unpunished. So these international bankers... They're, pre they're pretty much going to survive the nuclear destruction. The billionaires. They got underground bunkers. So they're going to be salvaged to go into slavery, captivity. Isaiah 57, verse 17. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. This can easily line up with Isaiah chapter 63 and Isaiah chapter 34. So the Edomites are in the crosshairs according to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. That includes the Jeff Epstein Island, where kids are being violated, and the other islands we don't know about. You think billionaires only have one private island? Come on now. So judgment must go forth. If you told me years ago that they were, uh, the United States judiciary system would try to legalize pedophilia, like 
I want to say like three years ago, I laugh in your face. The fact that we're here now, this is hell on earth, man. There's no other way around it. If you don't have religion in your life, you got to get something, man, because we are in hell. Um, I'm looking for that massive reset. Seriously, we need it. We've gone too far. We sh we're, I thought we would be a little bit more, more moralistically positive and uh, upright, but we are going backwards. Satan has a hold, man, and I'm not religious, but if you, you don't have to be religious to see where the fuck we're going right now. Men like him, not putting his hands to the plow, but is aware of these crimes, has blood on his hands. That's how the Most High operates. This man is guilty as charged. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kodesh, Barak Plum. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Prime Yasharala and the Bible. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.